Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Trying to discuss some derivatives and look at an example, and that it's extremely tedious actually. And it's basically find the derivative of this function f x equals x to the power of 2 over 3 times 6 minus x uh, to the power of 1 divided by 3. Basically, my calculus book showed this, uh, but it did not, it just showed the answer for this derivative, did not really go over it. And I'm like, well, I'll try it myself, and I realize it's extremely tedious. Uh, but it's pretty simple, though. Basically, the example is here find the first and second derivatives of this function. So it's pretty straightforward how to do it, but then it's just pretty tedious uh, in when you get through all the steps. But it's good to know, it's basically good to follow along, and you'll learn a lot of basically how I go about uh, solving all these steps. Basically, the first one is to take the first derivative. We have to use the product rule, which is take derivative of this function times by this, and then plus this function times derivative of this function. So you learn more on product rule in the, in the video links below, as well as the quotient rule, which we'll use for this second derivative. Basically, we start off here. We take derivative of this x to the power of 2 over 3. That's going to be 2 divided by 3. I'll put this like this. And then basically, this is going to be, you have to minus uh, 3 over 3 or minus 1 power. Then, then it's going to be x to the power of negative 1 over 3 or x to the power of 1 over 3 at the bottom here. So that's going to, this is the same thing as x to the power of negative 1 over 3. And now we just multiply by this 6 minus x uh, power of 1 over 3. And now we just add, now we write this x to the power of 2 over 3. And we multiplied by basically the derivative in this case of, of 6 minus x to the power of 1 over 3. Again, that's going to be 1. Uh, you're going to bring down the 3 or the 1 over 3. And now this is you have to subtract 3 over 3 from this. And we're going to get 2 over 3, but it's going to be a negative, negative 2 over 3. Or just put it on the bottom. I'm just skipping. Yeah, that's that. Just put it at the bottom right away. Just because it's otherwise become even more writing. So basically, we have this part. Now we've used chain rule and so I'll find a derivative of the inside function, this 6 minus x. That derivative is just going to be negative 1. So we just put a negative 1 up top here. So now that we have this one, what we could do is multiply by the common denominator. And in this case, the 3, we have 3. There's, that's the same for all of them. But now we have an x power of 1 over 3. We can multiply it on this side top and bottom and then we could also multiply 6 minus x power of 2 over 3 on this side so we'll get basically I'll, I'll just write this one out over here so we're gonna get 6 minus x power of 1 over 3 times it by 6 minus x power of 2 over 3 now plus this is gonna be now on this on the right side that we're multiplying this actually yeah, we're gonna have a negative here I'll just put the negative right now yeah so minus now x 2 over 3 and now times it by this x power of 1 over 3 and now because we do the both top and bottom and we're gonna have the same common denominators we're gonna have x 1 over 3 times it by 6 minus x power of 2 over 3 so now we have this part here as you can see this 2 over 3 you can add these powers up especially with this one so we're going to get 2 times this 1 over 3 and 3 over 3. That's just going to be 3 over 3 or 1. So it's going to be 6 minus x right here. And then multiple minus subtracted from this one here. This powers add up. It's going to be x. All divided by 3x, 1 over 3, 6 minus, yeah, x to the power of 2 over 3. So now we can multiply this out. We're going to get 12 minus 2x minus x divided by yeah, divided by just the denominator over there. So now we have this part. This this can add up. We'll, we could write this as 12 minus 3x. Yeah, and basically divided by this denominator over here. Now we can divide the 3 out uh, from the top. The, the top one is then is because 12 divided by 3 is is 4, and 3 divided by 3 is 1. So our final answer will get basically f prime of x equals 2. It's going to be 4 minus x divided by x 1 over 3. Yeah, 1 over 3 times it by 6 minus x power of 2 over 3. So this is our uh, first derivative. So that, that was pretty straightforward. But now the second derivative is what takes a long time. It's going to be f prime of f double prime of x. Now we have to use a quotient rule for this one here. But oh, before I write that, I'll just go if we have, let's say, yeah, y equals to f divided by g. The derivative is going to be now 
equals to f prime, yeah, f prime, oh, put it over here, f prime times g minus f times g prime all divided by g squared. So this is the product rule, I'm mean, gonna I mean the quotient rule, and you could uh, see the proof of this in the video link below. Basically, so now in this case, our top part, four minus x is f, and the bottom here, this is g right here. I'll, I'll just write g for this one, because we'll all use that when writing out the derivative, just so it's easier. Uh, so basically, so the derivative of f, which is four minus x, that's just gonna be negative x, I mean negative one. So negative one times it by, now we write over this one here. I'll just put this in a circle to get this out of there. Now we time, now we just multiply by this g. So, no, yeah, so I'll just put down first g here, and then minus, now we're gonna have a minus over here. That's gonna be f, which is four minus x. And now we have to times by the, the derivative of g here. I'll just put g right here, g prime all over g squared. Yeah, and the reason I'm putting this g one, just it's easier to write instead of writing it all out. So now let's solve for g prime. So g prime, because we know g is this, this part right here. So we take the derivative of this one, that's going to be, well, bring this uh, using product rule of this one. So bring the 1 over 3 down. So we're going to get now 3. And now this is going to be, again, x to the power of 3. Because we, we subtract 3 over 3 from the top. And now we multiply. This is going to be 6 minus x power of 2 over 3. And now we just do addition now. We're just using basic product rule. 1 over 3 now multiplied by the derivative over here. That's going to be... Uh, 2 over 3 and then this is again we're gonna bring this power down so we're gonna get 6 minus x negative 1 over 3 because we have to subtract 3 over 3 from this one and now using the chain rule always use the chain rule don't forget put the negative 1 here and that's because that's the derivative of 6 minus x so we have a negative 1 over there and then we have to simplify this further and we can do that because, well, we can do it by multiplying the top and bottom by the common denominator. In this case, uh, we'll do the same thing as before. We'll multiply using this 6 minus x to the power of negative 1 over 3 on this side and top and bottom. And this x to, power two, x to the power of 2 over 3 on the right side, top and bottom. So we're going to get equals to 6 minus x 2 over 3. I'll just write this here. 6 minus x negative 1 over 3. And now plus, well actually there's a minus now. Yeah, minus because it's negative one. Now we're gonna have, we have a two, then an x one over three times by this x two over three. And now we can put the entire thing under the common denominator of three, x two over three uh, times by now this six right here, six minus x negative one over three. And again, these uh, the powers add up. Actually, I made a mistake over here because we already put this da down here. This is going to be negative 1 over 3, then we bring it down to so positive 1 over 3. So it's a positive there. So anyways, uh, hopefully you, you caught that. But, but now, so we can add these up, we're going to get now 6 minus x. The, these add up and this will be power of 1, so we can just write 6 minus x. Now we minus here 2x. Again, these add up evenly. So we'll have that part. So now we're going to get... Yeah, this top part divided by, again, the, our this denominator over here. But now we can add these up, and we're going to get 6 minus 3x divided by this part over here. This part here I just copied there, and this is going to be 1 over 3, not, yeah, not negative 1 over 3. Yeah, I made a mistake there. Put a plus. This is what I mean. It's really tedious. You make one mistake, you're going to wreck it all. So just there's a positive there. Yeah, so that's a positive. And now we could uh, divide the top by 3, so we can have our final answer for g prime is equal to, this is going to be 2 minus x all divided by x power of 2 over 3, yeah, times 6 minus x power of 1 over 3. So we have this part for g prime, scroll back up and see where we put it. So we have to put it over here, so we're going to have this well, negative g, which is uh, this part over here. So we'll write it down. Yeah, here I've just copied and pasted what we know. So our g was the, the denominator of the first derivative, which is this part here. And now our second derivative is just going to be negative g minus 4 minus x times g prime, all divided by g squared. So now we can just plug this into there and our g. So we'll get basically f double prime of x is equal to negative um, this part here. Yeah, just copy and paste that negative. Uh, this is g. 
And now we're, we are subtracting four minus x, and now we plug in what we know here, which is our two minus x, all divided by this x squared over three, and then divided by six minus x, two over three. Uh, whoops, I mean one over three. That's this part here, not this one. Uh, this again, uh, this is why it's extremely tedious. It's to just make sure it's all correct. So now we have this, but it's also all divided by g, g squared. Also, this is all divided by g. So I'll just divide the g squared out because we have this g squared out there. And I'll just divide it out in here just so it's easier to see the common denominator. So now this is all because everything's divided by g, g squared. So I'll just put these divided out right away. So now we have this part. And now what we could do is basically multiply the, basically both sides by the common denominator. In this case, we could multiply this left side by this part right here. And then we'll have the same common denominator. So I'll write that down, f double prime of x equals 2, negative x. Now this 1 over 3, there's an x 2 over 3. So 1 over 3 times by x to power 2 over 3. And then multiply now this part here, 6 minus x by this power of 2 over 3 minus, uh, multiplied by 6 minus x times 1 over 3. So now we have this part, and then all subtracted by this 4 minus x. Actually, we could actually even uh, multiply that out. And so if we expand this 4 minus x, we can multiply this, this by this, add them up, and then this part by these two. So we'll have 8, uh, yes, yeah, so it's going to be negative 8, put this in a bracket, 8, uh, minus uh, then 4 minus uh, 4 times negative x so 4x and then we have this negative x over 2 so we get minus 2x I'm running out of room on the right but anyway so now we have this negative x times negative x that's plus x squared and this is all in this bracket let's put this over that and then this is all divided by our g squared times it by yeah, basically our g squared times this part here. Actually, I'll erase g squared. I'll just write this out. So we know our g is basically, this is our g, looks like this one. So we have to square that. So we'll have now x, this is going to be, yeah, x, so uh, power of 1 over 3 squared. That's just going to be 2 over 3 times it by 6 minus x, 2 over 3 squared. That's 4 over 3. So that's our g squared. Now we're multiplying it by our x2 over 3, and then times it by 6 minus x1 over 3. So we have these parts over here. Now again, these cancel out, so the powers cancel out. So we'll be left with here, write this down, f double prime of x equals 2. This cancels out, so we would be negative x multiplied by these again, these 2 over 3 plus 1 over 3, these add up, they'll be even. Uh, it'll be just 3 over 3. So now we'll have 6 minus x. So as you can see, everything is being simplified. Now this last part, it's going to be negative 8 plus 4. Uh, yeah, these negative 4x and 2x add up, so plus 6x. And then, then this is going to be now a negative uh, x squared, because uh, the sign to multiply this negative. So now this is all divided by this part over here, which is going to be x2 over 3 plus is x2 over 3. So it's x4 over 3. Then multiply this one here, there's a 4 over 3 and 1 over 3. So we'll have 6 minus x, 5 over 3. And now this top part, we can multiply it out and subtract. So we'll get negative uh, 6x plus x uh, squared. Yeah, so that's plus x squared, negative times negative positive. Now minus 8 plus 6x minus x squared, all divided by this denominator. And this is, I just copy pasted over here. So now we could simplify this out. This negative 6 cancels with this. And our x squared cancels with this one here. So these cancel. And now all we're left with is e equal to negative 8 over x to the power of 4 over 3 times it by 6 minus x to the power of 5 over 3. And there is our answer. Yeah, so this is extremely tedious this is our second derivative of the of that function anyways that's all for today hopefully you uh follow it along in this really tedious derivative the second derivative especially and yeah you can download these exact notes in the link below and thanks for watching and stay tuned for another 
Math easy solution.